Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Paracord Scorpion. This is a fun and simple project to do, which you can use to scare your family and friends. It is also a decent toy for your kids. The project is fairly simple to do, since you only need to use one single knot. As such, I think pretty much anyone can do it. Here you can see the project that we're going to be making. The scorpion is made using the cobra knot and it is supported using wire in the limbs, so the legs and the claws. So now let's move on to the supplies. The first supply that you're going to need is going to be paracord. I'm going to be listing the required cord lengths when I'm building the actual project. But generally about 20 feet of cord are going to be needed. The second supply that I'm going to need is going to be some wire. Wire is going to be used to support the legs and the claws of the scorpion. Basically, your wire should be stiff enough so that you can mold it and so that it stays in place. Usually you can find appropriate wire in any hardware store. Next, I'm going to be using a pair of nose pliers in order to be able to cut or clip off bits of wire when I need it. And finally, some scissors and a lighter are going to be used to cut and melt the ends of our paracord. Now, let's begin our project. I'm going to begin my project at the claws or pincers of the scorpion. Take a piece of wire half a foot long. Take a piece of paracord five feet long. I have removed the inner strands out of my piece of paracord. This makes it lay flatter. We're going to continue by folding our piece of paracord in half. Then, from the middle point, I'm going to move up half a foot, so the length of my wire. So something like this. Then I'm going to begin tying cobra knots. Take the left end under the two middle cords and over the right end. Take the right end over the top into the loop on the left side. Like this. Now slowly tighten up, but not all the way. You want to leave little ears like this. Later on, we're going to cut them to get a set of claws. For now, take the right strand, pass under the two middle strands, and over the left strand. Take the left strand, over the top, into the loop 
on the right side. So like this. Now tighten up your Cobra knot here. So tighten it up, but still leaving small ears at the top. So like this. Now take your piece of wire and work it under your first knot like this. From now on we're going to be making our cobra knots over the two middle cords and over the wire. Take the left end again under the middle, over the right end. Take the right end, over the top, into the loop on the left side. Like this. Tighten up firmly. Take the right end, under the middle, over the left end. Take the left end, over the top, into the loop on the right side. Like this and tighten up. We are aiming at 6 knots on the sides, so simply continue until you have 6 knots. So like this. After lining up 6 knots on each of the sides, one claw or pincer of the scorpion is complete. I'm now going to introduce a second cord, this one 7 feet long. I removed the inner strands out of this piece as well. I'm going to fold my piece of paracord in half feed it under my middle cords and under the working hands, so basically under everything, and pull the two working hands 
True. To create a lark's head knot. So like this. Tighten up firmly as close to the first pincer as possible. So tighten up very firmly close to the first pincer. Pull on the two working hands to bring the lark's head knot as close as possible. This forms the head of the scorpion. We're going to now continue with the first set of working hands. So these are going to wait for now. Take the left hand under the middle again, over the right hand. Take the right hand over the top into the loop on the left side. Like this, and tighten up. Take the right hand under the middle, over the left hand, then the left hand goes over the top into the loop on the right. Tighten up. Like this. We are again going to do six knots on each of the sides. So let's continue. So like this, as you can see, I had just enough cord to create six knots on each of the sides. At this point, we're going to slightly clean up our project. We're going to trim our wire just to prevent it from poking us into our soft beds, so our eyes or anything else. We are also going to trim the two working hands and lightly melt them. This is going to prevent our knots from coming undone. We are now going to begin work on the body of the scorpion. Cut a piece of wire half a foot long. Usually, I dress this piece of wire into paracord, preferably into paracord of a different color. This is going to give your stinger a bit of color. If you don't have a different color of paracord, the same color is going to do. So we now have a piece of wire for the core 
of the scorpion. Next, we are going to rotate the pincers 90 degrees, like this. Basically, the pincers are placed 90 degrees to the body of the scorpion. We are now going to move up the length of our wire, so about half a foot. At this point, we're going to tie a cobra knot. So take the left end, place it under the two middle cords, and over the right one, like this. Now, take your piece of wire and place it to the middle. With your right cord, pass over the top into the loop on the left side. Tighten up, like this. The body part doesn't need to cover the entire cord. We're going to need some wire for the stinger later on. For now, simply tighten up your first cobra knot. Continue with the right strand passing under the middle and over the left strand. Now the left end is going to pass over the top into the loop on the right side. Tighten up like this. And we're going to continue lining up square knots, so cobra knots, all the way to the pincers of the scorpion. So we continue on the left side, under the middle, over the right cord, right end, over the top, into the loop on the left side. Like this. Tighten up. Take the right end under the middle over the left end. Take the left end over the top into the loop on the right side. So simply continue this until you reach the pincers of the scorpion. At the bottom, we're going to squeeze our cobra knots in as much as we can. So let's say something like this. Now trim the two working ends
and melt them. So like this. We are now ready for the part of the scorpion that's going to bring everything together. We are going to add an overlay which is going to bulk up the body and hold four sets of legs in place. For this purpose, you're going to need four sets of legs created using gutted paracord with wire pushed into the legs. These leg parts are five inches long each, so gutted paracord with wire in the middle. For the actual overlay, you are also going to need a piece of paracord with the inner strands removed 4 feet long. To start our overlay, we're going to take our cord 4 feet long. We're going to fold it in half. Like this. So this is the middle point. I'm going to place the middle point under the body about 2 inches away from the pincers. So this distance is about 2 inches. Now we're going to line up a series of cobra knots over this initial core. To do this, take your left hand, pass it under the core, so under the middle, like this. Then over the right end. Take the right hand, pass over the top, into the loop on the left side. Like this. We have now attached our cord onto the cord. Take the right hand, under the middle, and over the left end. Take the left end over the top into the loop on the right side. Like this. Before tightening up, take a leg, place it under the core, and feed one end through the left loop. Tighten up. And on the bottom, you can see that the leg is traveling through a cobra knot. On the right side, pass under the right leg using your right hand. Take the left end, pass under the middle, over the right end. Take the right end, over the top, 
into the loop on the left side. Tighten up very firmly and you have your legs passing through two cobra knots on the bottom. To continue, take your right hand, pass under the middle, over the left end. The left end passes over the top into the loop on the right side. Again, before tightening up, take a leg, pass it under the core and feed one end through the loop on the left side. Tighten up as firmly as you can. Take the right end and pass it under the right leg. Take the left end, pass under the core, over the right end. Take the right end, over the top, into the loop on the left side. And tighten up. Like this. Again, our legs are passing through two cobra knots on the bottom. Take the right end and pass under the cord and over the left end. Take the left end over the top into the loop on the right side. Like this. Before tightening up, take another leg, pass it under the cord and feed one end through the loop on the left side. Tighten up as firmly as you can. Take the right end and pass it under the right leg. Take the left end under the core over the right end. The right end now passes over the top into the loop on the left side. So like this. Again, tighten up as firmly as you can. Continue by taking the right end under the middle, so under the cord, over the left end. The left end now passes over the top into the loop on the right side. Like this. Before tightening up, insert your final set of legs under the cord and place one end through the loop on the left. Tighten up as firmly as you can. Continue by passing the right end under the right leg. Take the left end under the cord over the right end. Take the right end over the top into the loop on the left side and tighten up.
All sets of legs are now passing through two cobra knots at the bottom. Now, simply continue your cobra knots until you reach the pincers. So I'm going to need to do, I think, two more. So I'm going to take the right end under the core over the left end. Left end passes over the top into the loop on the right side. Tighten up. And one more. Left end under the middle over the right end. The right end over the top into the loop on the left side. Like this. And this is the body for the scorpion. We are nearing the end of this tutorial and basically now what we need to do is clean everything up. So we are going to need to shape up the pincers, shape up the legs and shape up the tail. So now it's time to finish everything up. First off, cut the two working hands that we have just used. This is going to prevent our cobra knots from coming undone. Now move on to the pincers. On the side with the loop, I'm simply going to cut the loop off. So creating a claw. On the side, with the two loops, I'm going to cut at the sides here. Like this. This again creates a claw. Trim it to size. Melt the ends. So these two on the sides of the claw. And the claws themselves. So this is ok for now. Now I'm going to be doing some additional adjusting later on. But for now, the claws are done. Now we're going to shape up the pincers. So in a scorpion, they are done at an angle. 
I'm going to bend the pincers three knots in. Like this. And the other one three knots in. So something like this. Now we're going to continue with the legs. So simply trim off any excess cord and melt the ends off of the legs. I'm now going to melt the ends of the legs and round them off to a round tip. So the legs are now pretty much complete. We need to shape them up. The legs in a scorpion usually face like this. So some forward and a few back. Forward a few back. After shaping up the legs of the scorpion, it is time to also shape up the body and the tail. Usually I like to set my scorpions in a more of an aggressive stance. So with the back part of the body a bit raised and the tail pointing forward. So all I'm going to do is bend the back part of the body a bit and bring the tail forward. So this is something that you have to experiment with. Finally, we're going to shape up the stinger by heating it up and molding it into a pointy end. So something like this. And with this our paracord scorpion is complete. In my opinion, the scorpion turned out great. Since we invested time and effort into it, do make sure that you get something out of it. Scare the wife, the kids, use it on Halloween, scare the cat, the dog, whatever you can. Thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial.
do come visit again in the future.